our American pop sensation, Adam Lambert has wrapped up a whirlwind national tour. The glam rocker performed in Sydney last night and he invited Eddie backstage. Eddie, he's a Sunrise <laughs> favourite and he's an open book, isn't yeah. he? He's good to interview. He's such a nice guy, Sam and Koshi. Nothing is ever off limits with Adam Lambert. Perhaps that's why he did let me interview him in the dressing room. We spoke about his awkward teenage years, bullying, gay marriage and much, much more. Check it out. He's been called a modern day Freddie Mercury and last night Adam Lambert had thousands of fans on their feet at his final Australian concert. Moments earlier, I joined him backstage. Well Adam, thank you for having Sunrise in your dressing room. This oh, feels pleasure. very <laughs> intimate. <laughs> it's very zen in here. You've got the scented candles, you've got some it's carrot nice to have sticks. A candle, sticks. It's not very rock star. No? That well, tequila is great. There's tequila <laughs> and carrot sticks over Well, there. you know, I'm trying to keep my figure, so. <laughs> <laughs> The Adam Lambert we know today has sold millions of albums and topped the charts around the world. He's as famous for his glam look as his voice. You come from this kind of white bread, white collar background, and now you're a mega superstar. <laughs> Are there moments where you, where you think, you, you pinch yourself and think, how on earth did I get here? They, they, those moments happen all the time. Um, you know, I do, I do, when I stop and think about it, I, I consider myself very lucky. You know, I was a, a kid into the creative arts and I liked playing dress up and my parents had the foresight to put me in a theater group and that kind of sparked it all for me and, and I got really creative in different activities during high school and sort of just, automatically went into theater as the default because I figured, well, this is what I know, this is what I've always been doing. And I never, I just never thought there was gonna be actually more than that. Mm. And I had a great time in theater and I think it's an incredible lifestyle. And then when I started getting the itch to make my own music and be my own artist, I, I thought it was just a pipe dream. I didn't think it was gonna be possible. And look at you now. Yeah, <laughs> and it's, it's a testament of, you know what, if you have a dream, you gotta kinda go for it. You posted a very dorky photo of you a few weeks ago. There's plenty of dorky photos, yeah. Back from the 90s. It's a very different oh, Adam with the Lambert. Hair, yeah, with yeah. the hair. You're a ranger. You're a redhead. <laughs> I, I am. It's a, it's a toasted almond strawberry shortcake. Really. Yeah. <laughs> My brother claims to have strawberry blonde hair. Yeah, because well. it's actually it's not It's not Ed Sheeran red. It's, it's not red. red red. It's like a ginger, ginger frosting. <laughs> yeah, it's a slight copper penny. What's your message to someone who kind of sees that photo, one of your fans, and maybe going through an awkward teen stage and, and needing that inspiration to, yeah, pursue their dreams? You know, I think, I think with everything, I think that the, the next generation coming up right now is actually very exciting to look at because I think a lot of the old, like, shame and the old sort of judgments about who and what you can be are starting to, like, fade away a little bit. I think kind of anything goes more and more. Um, there's always going to be bullying, there's always going to be awful people out there, there's always going to be hardships, but I think there's more options for young people in, in what and who they can be. Gay marriage is such a big debate here in this country. What do you think about that? You must have probably lots of your Aussie fans who mention it to you, mm -hmm. who it's important to them. I, I would expect it to, to come around very soon here, you know, considering how liberal and forward-thinking Australia is. I mean, every time I've been here and the people that I've met, I've been so impressed with the attitudes towards the LGBTQ community. I mean, it's very open here. And it's, I think that you guys were way ahead of the states in that regard. Mm -hmm. So I'm sure it's only a matter of time before the marriage thing happens. My heart is a ghost town. That was the final night there of his Asia Pacific tour. He's been to China, Korea, Japan, all over the place. He said all he wanted to do here was hug a koala. I didn't have one in my Aww. handbag. But if you have one handy, you can get to Adam Lambert today. He's keen. That's strange because normally you can carry a koala exactly in your handbag. Exactly right. Oh. Such a nice bloke. Mm. All right, take care.